Hey guys, let's see how to animate along the path. I'll share several tips and show some useful effects. So obviously we have to have a path in a scene and another element that we wish to move along the path. My path here is called baseline A and it's colored in dark green. Let's find a path parameter inside this layer. You can use a search bar for that if you want. Then click on a path once it becomes selected, then hit Ctrl C or I guess Command C if you're on a Mac. Please note that the time indicator has to be right where the layer begins, not somewhere in the middle, okay? Then we go to the element that we need to animate, find its position parameter, or simply press P on your keyboard and hit Control V or Command V. Pay attention that the time indicator has to be at the beginning of the layer too. Now we see that the path is copied to our element, but it could appear in a random place, like in my case. That happened because the anchor point of the line and the anchor point of the dot were in different places. But don't worry about that, just use the arrows on your keyboard and move it where you need. Only make sure that all these keyframes remain selected, don't unselect them. You can also adjust the speed of animation if you select all the keyframes and move the last one to the right or to the left, respectively, holding Alt. You'll see that the keyframes in between also move and the distance between them remains proportionally the same. If the object you wish to animate is not perfectly round, for instance, for the sake of this example, let's create a triangle, then I guess you'll want it to also rotate when it moves along the path. And there is a way how we can do it automatically. Go to Layer, Transform, Auto Orient and choose Orient Along Path. And now you'll see that the element auto rotates when it moves. In my particular case, I also want this animation to be continuous and start again once it's finished. Select all the keyframes again and press this little stopwatch near the position parameter holding Alt. Then in this expression menu, I find properties, loop out. Now when the animation ends, it starts again and it goes on a loop. Just make sure the layer is prolonged for as long as you wish the loop to happen and it doesn't suddenly stop somewhere in the middle of the scene of the timeline. Perfect! Give this video a like if it was useful, check out my Patreon shop, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!